car. Passion 4-2. If you need to change your head gasket on this car, this is exactly what you must go through in order to get that done. The entire engine needs to be pulled out of the engine bay and uh, all cables need to be disconnected. The car needs to be lifted and mounted safely. You guys could check out what the bottom of a smart car looks like. So technically, the back of this car is completely all engine. Completely engine. So this is what it looks like once you pull out the uh, engine assembly with uh, everything attached, wheels included. This right here is the engine I guess I would call it an assembly. It's the engine bay assembly. Uh, you have the engine complete in its frame with the rear axle. Everything is connected. Um, I'm fairly uneducated with the uh, terminologies uh, to be specific with what this might be called in its current state and form. Nonetheless, this is what it looks like. Now, this whole reason that this scenario was pulled out was uh, this particular unit has a head gasket malfunction in other words bro blew the freaking head gasket so now the second part of this entire scenario is the head gasket needs to be removed now when you're looking at this engine in this form you know it looks like a pretty big engine it looks pretty cool but when that thing is stuck inside of the car no it's a very difficult scenario and you can't even get to nothing but you know th this top piece right here so for you guys that are trying to do this job on your own i mean you only have access to about here and not even this like here and that's about it that's about you have no access to it so you have to pull the engine out this guy was a true champ i have a, a mechanic that is um you know here doing the scenario for me but he was able to disconnect everything he was able to have everything you know legitimately disconnected I'm very very excited that you know this thing is gonna get put back together I was thinking of just putting a Hayabusa engine in it and buying a new frame uh, for the engine a new engine mount and just putting a Busa engine in there but we'll do that in the future for now this is my company car uh, this is what the uh, the mechanics got going on but this video right here is just a small little video clip to show you guys if you're gonna change the head gasket on a smart car passion 4-2 this is what you should expect precisely this this needs to come out of this it's the only way to get to the engine it sucks I know if you really want to get your scenario rectified and get back on the road with this little thing which is super fun to drive that's what's got to get done anyways my name is Jacob with daddy dips I hope you guys enjoy this small little clip this is what you have to do to do a head gasket repair on a 2008 passion or two or a smart car period that's what's got to get done guys like it's the only way unfortunately it's the only way and for those of you guys wondering what price might be for something like this how much is it gonna cost you can get it done anywhere from eight to twelve hundred bucks the internet will scream something to you around sixty five hundred dollars if you're going to a dealer and it'll make you feel like hey this is not worth it but trust me if you got low mileage on the car it's hundred percent worth it this one has low mileage on it. I don't know why the head gasket went bad on this one, but once it's repaired, be back up and running with this fun little thing.